red devil sacred. And this is a male. I see this. Uh, <laughs> this is what is up, everybody? How the heck are you doing? You know the drill. It's your boy Tyler Nolan. Welcome to the show. Oh my god, it is so bright outside today. We are redoing the gator pond. Finally, I got a whole bunch of wood. Alex is on his way over. We're gonna get to building today. It's gonna be epic. I'm gonna show you guys. Dude, we're, I got a really cool idea in mind. We are going to secure this the way that it should be. We're gonna build a cage over top of it and a little feeding platform on the outside so we can call them up and feed them and train them a little bit easier now that they're getting bigger. Ooh. Hey, what's up, bro? How we living? She, look what we're doing. All right, so we're getting there. We're trying to just, I'm improving. There's no plan at all. I just bought a bunch of stuff from Home Depot and we're kind of making it happen. I built all these cages myself. So building no the top of a gator cage shouldn't be too hard. Yo, what? Look at this. Dude, this thing is looking sick. Yes, yes. How you doing, bud? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for my new home. I'm so thankful. Yes. Corona's in there somewhere just <laughs> chilling. We got to put some water in here. We got the... Uh, there's a little tiny Paku in that cup right there. We forgot about, he survived. So we're gonna fill this up a little tiny bit, get the pump running again. So at least these guys have some water and the Paku could be cool while we finish doing this, but it is coming along nicely. It's not bad for not knowing what the heck you're doing. Dude, it's coming together. Look how sick this is. Mm. All right, so we built the frame and then we're gonna take the chicken wire. We're gonna cut the chicken wire to cover on the outside. And then we're gonna use some one by two as a frame. We're gonna screw the one by two into it to keep the chicken wire in place. And then when I move, it's gonna be very easy to break this whole thing down. So the well-being of my gators is very important. Even though I'm gonna have to move and it's gonna be, yes, more work to break down all these enclosures and stuff. But the way that I built everything, even these water monitor cages, they're built sectional. I don't want my gators to be miserable in a smaller enclosure while I live here still. So that is why I'm taking the time off today and just really making a really nice area for them now. Better for them to live, better to train them. It's just gonna be awesome. Like, look at this. So this little platform area right here, I'm gonna cut it out right now. And then I have some AstroTurf that I also got from Home Depot. And then we're gonna lay some fake grass down on here and then enclose everything. Call the gators out of the pond, get them to sit nicely, wait for a treat, give them a meal, okay? So that's pretty much what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be doing a lot of spot training with them here shortly now that we have a better setup. But right now I have to get in here with my pencil. We're gonna mark off the bottom circumference of this pond so that way I can cut it out with the jigsaw so it fits around the edge perfectly. Look at this! So we took that piece of plywood, wrapped it with the AstroTurf. Now, I only got three feet of it because I thought, I didn't really measure anything. This is, I know, believe it or not, it looks like we have a plan and it looks like we know what we're doing and measuring, but this is completely improv right now. I literally just bought a bunch of wood, bought a bunch of connectors, and uh, me and Alex are figuring this out as we go along. But, so far, Yo, check it out, it's pretty sweet. So we're just securing this plywood down. And then the next thing we gotta do is wrap it in chicken wire, make the latches, and we're done. Wow, look at this. Dude, that is clean, baby. Woo. So, dude, you know what I was thinking with the height of everything? I don't think we really need a top. No? Yeah, I don't think so. I, think I'm with I don't really think we're gonna put a top on it because the chicken wire that we have is only four feet wide, which works perfect because we cut that in half and this is two feet tall. So cutting the chicken wire four feet in half, we have two two foot strips, goes along the sides, absolutely perfect. This is six by eight pretty much and they don't make chicken wire that wide. I have to special order it and I don't have that right now and they don't have it in stock at Home Depot. I'm gonna make a nice little basking area right here for them and then it'll be super easy for me and Alex to come out here, get them to come out of the water. And if I do have to service anything, I can just get a stepping stool, get in here myself and not have to worry about anything. Don't have to have a door, don't have to have, a, you know what I mean? It's just gonna be way more free and honestly it makes a lot more sense. So before we get this all finished up, I'm gonna clean out this filter because it is disgusting. We're gonna get this nice and work. We're gonna get this thing working nice and good for them again. 
um, hook up the heat light, and then we'll show you guys the finished product. Whoa! All right, sneak peek real fast, and that's all you're gonna see. We're gonna go grab some fish. So now that we have a big pond, 300 gallons completely filled up. I said it in a previous video, I really want some albino Oscars for the, uh, for the pond. I have one albino Paku in there, but he's really little. So we're gonna go grab some fish and then we're gonna finish off the video and I'm gonna show you guys what we got going on. It is looking so good. All right, you know, we're over here at Barrier Reef in uh, Boca, you know, okay? So this is what we're gonna go with. We thought they had albino Oscars here the other, well, they did. They did have albino Oscars the other day. And they sold them all, they had like 12 of them, like two days ago, sold them all. But the next, I think they're really cool too. They're called Red Devils. They're just cichlids. They're bigger. I want to get something bigger so that the gators don't mess with them. They also have this really cool albino tiger Oscar. He's big. So I think I'm just going to do the Red Devils for now and see how they do. So this is a male right here. I don't know what to do. Should we do Fat Ed or should we do this other male? I don't know. Let's check a look at the female. Check the female out. She is super pretty. Hey, how are you? Oh, yeah. I really want to get some aquatic trees next and put some trees at least in the corners of the pond, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Put a light up top for the fish, for the trees. Yeah, we should definitely make this gator pond top notch now. Oh, we are back. Dude, look how cool this is. All right. All right, so we got the red devil cichlids. We got the male with the bump on his head. The female, she's got a nice, really pretty forehead. Let's get these guys out and acclimated. Well, this is pretty cool. I can just come in here, get my feet wet. Real nice. Ooh, nice little hot tub. Yeah, dude, new hot tub. Nice. I could just crank up this heater, you know what I mean? I could make it pretty warm and they would like it. You could almost call it a gator pool. <laughs> get it? <laughs> gator pool? Get it. Yeah, no, this is really cool. And honestly, the turf, I definitely got the idea from Gator Pool Gators. <laughs> Shout out. But yeah, these guys are sick. All right. So, I just acclimated these guys. Slowly put, you know, a couple cups in at a time. These should be good to go. These fish are beautiful. These freaking cichlids, red devil cichlids. Especially the female, she's so pretty. Look at how beautiful that little fish is. All right, so this one we're gonna do with the red light off. I figured it's such an orange fish that red light kind of really canceled out. You can't really see how insanely bright these guys are. Look at that animal. Look at that fish. Look at how sick that is. Red devil cichlid. And this is a male. You see the nice bump on his head right there? So let's put him in the water nicely. Let's let him swim up. There you go. There you go, sir. Now that's why I picked a fish this color. We're gonna set up some more lights out here so you can see into the pond a little bit better, but their light, bright orange coloration will be nicely contrasted against this dark pond. All right, so let's see how the gators are doing. What the hell would you even come out and try to hang out with your dad or anything? Come here, guys. We got blood right here. Dude, check this out. Look at this whole new area for you. Crazy. All right, guys, dude, I'm pumped. Look at this. This came out great. So we're gonna let these guys just swim and be nice and happy. I can't wait to just get in here. Out with these guys all the time. Oh, relax, guys. Hey, chill out for a second. Chill out for a second. Train them to come out of the water. Spot train them, dude. It's gonna be really cool. Oh man, this is great. This is everybody's, this is the Florida man's dream right here. I'm just gonna hang out with my little swamp puppies. All right, here's the final product, okay guys? Check this out. So Pee Pee has gone home. I went to Home Depot. I got a UV plant light for up top. I really wanted some UV light in here too. Got these sweet plants. And then boom, check that out. The Red Devils are doing great. Another plus about having a light is being able to see right through the water now. And then there's a Paku still in here. His name is Waldo. He just got named, didn't have a name before, but now we're gonna name his ass Waldo. But check this out, looks pretty freaking sweet. You approve? Do you like the new gator pond? You wanna say hi to everybody? Tell everybody what happened today? 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, let's go. Let's get this. Uh, let's get this patio cleaned up. There you have it, folks. We are done. Look at them there together. Just loving the new pond. What's up, guys? So see the water levels nice and high. So they can just crawl right out. I'm trying. I'm gonna probably try to uh, MacGyver something together so that they can crawl out of here a little bit easier. Richard. Uh, time for my favorite part: cleaning. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you like the new gator enclosure. It's super yeah. sweet setup. Start cleaning and stuff. Just get awesome. Until next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Wave. Wave. Yeah. I swear they never really understand me. I need a comma like I need a Grammy. She needs to flow with her designer panties. Yeah, we eat the panty. Check the pantry from the sound waves to the rebel lines from the tattered brick. Oh, look at these little guys. They love it. Jesus. Hey guys. Hey, how you doing? Oh, do you guys like your cage? Is it super cool now? Do you like it? Huh? Do you like it, sir? Yes? Okay, cool. I like it too. Yo, pretty cool. Dishes, now we eating ends with these new beginnings. Yet to sign a major for the bank bro. But thank the Lord that I dodged a penitentiary. Nice guy, but my inside is in mighty flashy with a bird's eye. Scribble gems to get my pockets lined till I get arthritis. Switch my heart is icy. Walking past the bouncer like I knew somebody. Crew like Taylor Cloudy or the poison ivy. But from like a stroller with a coast sign me. I don't even like me. No, I'm staring in the mirror. Indifferent. Who is this nigga? He claimed me the realest to shy.